Unit 13. Boycott for Change. April 22nd. Whereas a boycott is usually done for political or social reasons, it is also done as a form of consumer activism. The snow brand boycott in Japan was a notable case. In 2000. A three-hour power outage at Snowbrand Milk's factories caused a batch of milk to become infected with bacteria. The tainted milk was turned into milk products and later sold. As a result, about 15,000 Japanese people were poisoned. This sparked a public boycott, which eventually forced Snowbrand Milk to declare bankruptcy. The whole event also motivated the Japanese government. To completely revamp their food safety laws, however, not all boycotts achieve their stated goals. In that case, what separates successful boycotts from ones that fall short? Smart boycotts target an organization or company's brand rather than simply its bottom line. They lead consumers to associate a company's brand with being illegal or unreliable. Even though a company's brand seems like something intangible, it is what connects that company to consumers and can be worth billions of dollars. This idea was clearly evidenced by the 1990s Nike boycott. Activist groups that accused the brand of using child labor not only persuaded consumers out of buying its products, but also directed the public's attention toward the company's ethics. While the short-term damage to Nike's profits was considerable, the most adverse long-term impact was on the company's reputation. Consequently, Nike has worked to rehabilitate its image and been cautious about its policies ever since. Usually, the public largely relies on the law to punish guilty manufacturers. When the law ends up letting those who are accountable off the hook, however, The public is left with few options. In the end, boycotts are expressions of dissatisfaction used as a last resort for people to make their resentment known and implement a change. <laughs>